We out here. Yes, uh, can I get two of the Travis Scott meals, please? Straight up. Hello, what's up, what's good? I'm Irene, and this is... <laughs> Today we're gonna be doing a mukbang and we are trying the Travis Scott McDonald's meal. It's lit. We got two of the Travis Scott meals. Do you wanna explain it? Yeah, so basically Travis Scott picked his favorite meal from McDonald's. This is like his like go-to meal. It's uh basically a quarter pounder with cheese, three strips of bacon, right? So we have a quarter pound of beef, sesame seed bun, bacon, American cheese, shredded lettuce. Pickle, onion, ketchup, mustard, and barbecue dipping sauce. And it comes with fries and Sprite. And I watched on another YouTube video that he likes his Sprite with extra ice. But who the f does that? So we're not doing that. We got, oh my God, I got lettuce on your sweater. So we got tropical Sprite, normal ice. So but is it so tropical? <laughs> no. This is straight sparkling water. Yeah, so we think our tropical Sprite may have ran out of flavor and it's just like sparkling water. It's no flavor to There's it. There's no flavor. Which and means no sugar, kind of healthy. You ready? I'm ready, Eddie. Hand Sandy? Oh yeah, we're in a global pandemic, so don't forget to wash your hands, sanitize. <laughs> Stay healthy, COVID free. This is what Travis eats every day. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Straight up. Mm. I usually do not like bacon, but this is pretty good. It's not bad. Do you like bacon in your burgers? Usually like fresh bacon, not like the McDonald's fast food bacon. bacon, yeah. Yeah, I usually don't like bacon, period. One thing about it, it is a tad bit greasy. Do you see like the grease everywhere? Mm hmm I got it on your pants. Oh yeah, my nice sweats. These are my favorite sweats too. Oops, sorry. This is good. It is. It's not far from my regular. My go-to McDonald's meal is the Quarter Pounder Deluxe. Mm -hmm. Deluxe, deluxe. <laughs> Always has to be the deluxe. What else do I get? Man, I haven't been to McDonald's in so long, I forgot my order. I'm super basic. What is yours? Double cheeseburger, large fry and a Sprite. Mm, that's what I forgot. Large fries, well done. Mm. And then sweet and sour dipping sauce. My fries have to be made to order. Fresh. Gotta be fresh. I didn't but, know you could do that. Oh yeah. Otherwise you get like the fries has been sitting since like noon and you're there <laughs> at like 8 p.m. <laughs> McDonald's Sprite always hit. You know, it's, it hits hard. Not this one. Yeah, yeah, not this one. We got a, a defective Sprite today. But it saves us some calories on the already like heavy calorie meal. I actually don't like Sprite usually. I told you this. I feel like yeah. it tastes like laundry detergent. <laughs> Does anyone else feel like that or is it just me? The Tide Pod Queen over here. <laughs> I swear I've never eaten a Tide Pod before. Okay. I swear. How do you know what laundry detergent tastes like? You know how like when you smell things, you kind of taste it? It's a thing. Like your nose and your mouth glands are connected. Mouth glands? Mouth glands? <laughs> taste glands. They're connected. So sometimes I when I smell stuff, I feel like I tasted it, you know? I get it. <laughs> I still feel like you maybe like dabbled in a little bit of Tide Pottery. No. <laughs> okay, we need to try the fries. Yes. Hopefully they're fresh. Oh, we didn't ask for it well done, but um, I guess Travis doesn't get it well done, so we yeah, didn't get it well we got, done. We gotta do it the Travis way. <laughs> Dip like, it in the barbecue sauce. Oh yeah. I haven't had McDonald's barbecue sauce in forever, because I haven't had their nuggets. I'm a Wendy's nugget person, so. I've never had Wendy's nuggets, oh, but no. y'all are gonna hate me for this. I don't like barbecue sauce. <laughs> Jeez. I'm not a barbecue girl, but let's see how this goes. All right, all right. Not bad. Sweet and sour is better though. I forgot how sweet McDonald's barbecue sauce is. It's, it's like tangy. Super. It's called tangy barbecue. But it's like sweet too. Mm, this is not my order. It brings back memories. So I used to eat <laughs> McDonald's a lot as a kid and I used to eat their nuggets until I found Wendy's nuggets. I'm just like, skip McDonald's nuggets. Does it have better chicken meat? Is it like more fresh? Like Chick-fil-A? They're flavored. Like the seasoning on the Wendy's nuggets is like really, really good. Mm. And then when Wendy's came out with the spicy nuggets, they changed the game. Mm. They shut it down. Wendy's was like number one nugget wise. Like there's no argument. You can't argue there. Shit. I guess I gotta go there. That's gonna be the next bit, <laughs> Wendy's Spicy Nuggets. Fast food reviews, I'm with it. But yeah, I forgot how good the barbecue sauce was. It's I. <laughs> I hope one day I could make an Irene meal at McDonald's. A bunch of random, <laughs> random assortment of a filet fish patty. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Miss me with that shit. I hate filet fish what? I do not understand anyone 
someone who orders that. I just don't get it. It's like the freshest fish patty you can find at fast food, right? <laughs> I love seafood, I love fish, but fucking miss me with that shit. That shit is so disgusting. When's the last time you had a filet fish? When I was a kid. And you just didn't, you were just like, nah. Fam. I was like, Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. And I was like, who the f eats this? <laughs> Where's my McChicken? Oh, have you ever had a McGangbang? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a thing down in Texas. I don't know why. It's like super popular there. So the first time I visited Texas, my homies took me to McDonald's. And I was so shocked that they ordered it at the drive thru. They ordered a McGangbang. I'm just Wait, like, I've never actually ordered it like yeah. that. A McGangbang is a McDouble and a McChicken, but you take it apart and you put it together. Wait, does yeah. that make sense? So basically combine them. But I've never ordered it as a McGangbang. I always just order the separate ones and make it myself. I was like, can you do that? <laughs> I was just like, you can't say that in public. You can't say gangbang in public. Like. But he ordered it and we got it. So it was it was good. I've never actually tried ordering it. You should try it. I don't want to. I'm Let's scared to the drop it. right now. <laughs> I don't want to say that. Do you guys eat your fries one at a time or like multiple at a time? I'm a savage. I just grab like a handful and I dunk it. I always just do one at a time. I don't know why. I'm just dainty like that. But I heard that if you combine it, there's more flavor. I've seen Travis Scott perform. I'm pretty sure he just takes a handful of fries <laughs> and just shoves them in his face. <laughs> he doesn't have like fast food etiquette, I don't think. True. <laughs> I'm making a mess. In my car, yes. I'm sorry. It's so messy. First I drop it on your don't slips. Worry, I I'm a messy eater. First my sweats, now my car. <laughs> this is a good meal. Yeah. Now how much was it? For like $6? Yep, like seven bucks. That's good. Fairly priced. I like the burger a lot. Actually, I think the only thing for me is the sauce. I like that the dipping sauce comes with the meal. Because mm -hmm. usually when you order something, oh, yeah. you have to ask for the dipping sauce. And they always forget. You'll pull off and you get home and you don't have any barbecue sauce. True. So I love that it comes already with the meal. Yeah, that's true. Good looking, Travis. I wonder what's going to be the mother's excuse for like, we got McDonald's at home for the Travis Scott meal. What? What? Your mom never said that to you and asked for McDonald's? Like, we got McDonald's I at home. I told you, I never ate McDonald's growing up. Uh, growing up, the only time I ate McDonald's was like a reward. It's like a thing in the black community where they always ask for food and say, we got food at home. And you get home, you get like a burger patty on like white bread. <laughs> oh, like they'll say it's McDonald's, but it's not really. Yeah, just... ding, ding, ding. What's that one drop 10 minutes later? <laughs> Yeah, my mom would do that too. She'd be like, we got food at home. I look in the fridge and it's empty. <laughs> like, bitch, what? Spider webs. Dude, her fridge is legit empty. There's nothing in there. Oh, wow. There's like maybe like mayonnaise and like pickles or like some random Chinese stuff. I think they just buy fresh every time they cook or they eat out. Mm. There's like never really food in there. Dude, I remember as a kid when I was hungry, I would make white bread sandwiches with mustard and pepperoncinis. Have you guys ever had pepperoncinis? Mm -hmm. My wannabe bougie little kid self. I would slice up the pepperoncinis, put mustard on a piece of white bread, and then just line them up and make them look pretty, and I would eat that. Oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> Ours was worse. When we were kids, our grandma didn't let us eat between like meals. Uh -huh. So like she'll cook breakfast or like lunch or dinner. In between, she'd be like, no, like, go outside and play. So what we would do, we would make sugar sandwiches. <laughs> it was so bad for you. Wait, you would just like sprinkle sugar on the bread? White bread and we would just like <laughs> take a, like, a cup of sugar, put it in there and just eat it. <laughs> Or just eat syrup sandwiches. You take white bread and just pour like syrup on it and you just eat it. I don't know why. To this day, like it just puzzles me while we ate that crap. We <laughs> ate it. So glad I don't have diabetes after eating all that. Oh my god. I need to try that now. <laughs> Next video, Irene tries hood cuisine. <laughs> Wait, can we do that, please? Oh my That's goodness. So funny. Your stomach is gonna be so bad <laughs> after that video. I can do it. I'll just pop a Pepsi. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Have like a gallon of like Pepto Bismol. Let's see if I could fit all these fries in my mouth. Oh my god! <laughs> Get it, girl. <laughs> Get it, girl. Look at that. Professional. <laughs> if I had some ones. No, <laughs> I'm not done. Hands are a mess. My car is a mess. I cleaned it up. Pants are a mess. <laughs> Can't take me anywhere. Uh, definitely not. D. Travis Scott. Straight up. Yeah. His ad libs are like the best. He does have the best ad libs. Actually, Migos are the ad lib king. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. It's a tie. It's a tie. Migos, <laughs> Travis, Kit Cuddy's hum. <laughs> Those are like the three best features. Mm -hmm. Done. That was the 
Travis Scott meal, y'all. I will rate it um seven out of ten. What would you give it? Mm, I would agree. I would say seven. Probably a little higher if our sprite was like hidden. <laughs> yeah. But that's not Travis's fault. It's not Travis's fault. Yeah, that's fault. true. That's just the McDonald's fault. Yeah. If we don't get the Sprite, Sparkling I would give water. it an 8 out of 10. It was a good meal. Very filling. Got the flavors on point. Even though I don't like barbecue, I actually liked like the fries dipped in barbecue. Now we got to wait on the, the Virgil Blow, the off-white KFC. <laughs> Is that really a thing? No. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite Travis Scott song? If I had to pick one Travis Scott song to listen to, it would definitely be 90210. Mm. Mainly because there's two songs in one one uh -huh. is like the first part that's like kind of slow and then the second part it kind of speeds up a little bit like a different a whole different vibe whole different beat whole different vibe i don't think i have a favorite like i said i have a top three okay what's your top three i'm a basic bitch so excuse my taste in music but it would be yosemite <laughs> Jeez. Wake up? Is it wake me up or wake up? With the weekend? Wake yeah, up. wake up and stargazing. All of Astro World. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Dude, Rodeo was too like hardcore for me. I think. Oh man, he had like the hardcore hits, but he also had, like had the toned down hits. I actually never sat down and listened to Rodeo. All this day side long. with Quavo. Oh my Rodeo. goodness, we're just going to listen to the whole Travis Scott <laughs> discography on the way to the skate park. Trust me, baby, trust me, trust me, baby, trust me. I don't mind Thank you guys for watching If you like this video give it a thumbs up Make sure to hit that subscribe button And I'll see you in the next video Until then peace out Tell me do you love me Like I do Tell me what you willing to prove Cause I ain't got nothing to lose It's true You mean the world to me